So something that I see happen fairly often in RM games is they will use a water tile with a background that doesn't match the one that it is against. Like, for example, this one has a stone background, and this is a wall. Now, I'm going to show you in this video how you can change that to blend in more with its surroundings. Now, obviously, what you end up creating will probably be more polished than what I make in this video. However, I just want to give you a rough idea of what you will be making. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you really make this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You just gotta go into the outside A4 tile set, or which really whatever wall you're using, and go over to that wall. Then, uh, you can see I've already selected it here, but you just need to select a section of it and copy it. Then, you go over to the outside A1 uh, tile set, and you go over to the tile that you're using, which in this case is this one. Then, I'll just make it full screen here so you guys can see it a bit better. Then, you're just going to go about pasting it down onto this, onto this, and putting it in the areas. Now, obviously, you'll, you'll want to, you know, get a better uh, cut than I did, but um, you can do it this way if you would like to. So then you just kind of, you just kind of copy and paste it, and I'll speed it up here. So yeah, as you can see, I, I've just spent maybe like 30 seconds doing this, and it already is looking like the background uh, of this wall, or of the outside A4 wall. Um, so yeah, it literally just takes 30 seconds to do this. It's super easy. Um, you can probably make it a lot more polished than I can by getting a cut of it that, or let's see here, you can probably get a cut that doesn't curve here. Like, you could probably cut it uh, maybe here would be a better one. Um, but yeah, it's, pre it's really simple to do this. Um, it takes 30 seconds, maybe, um, and it really gives your game a much more polished feel. Now, you might be wondering, how do you get this into your game? Well, you just go over here, and you want to export it as a .png file, and you want to rename it to something. I just renamed it to outside A12. And I'll replace it, because uh, I already have an exported one out there. Then you're going to open your game folder, and drag this into the tile sets. I'll just replace that. And then you're going to come over here, go to your animation, and select that tile set. Depending on what you named it, it will be somewhere in here. And then you just select that. There, boom, boom, and you're all good. Just place it down, and there you go. Here is the glorious uh, wall tile. Took 40 seconds to make, maybe, you know. It, super easy, and it just gives a bit more, you know, polished flair to your game. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial video. Uh, I just kind of wanted to make it, because uh, I wanted to address this issue that I've seen in some of the RM games that I've been playing. Um, and yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I said guys again. I will see you, my croutons, in the next video. Bye.